All right, so got a new kayak, Pelican Catch 100. Got a couple of stickers on it and everything already, you know. So funny thing about this, I was at Walmart and there is like a very tiny little scuff on the bottom. But I had them convinced that it was actually damaged and they gave me 150 bucks off the kayak. So yeah, we got this bad boy for, I think it was like right around 400 bucks. I'm going to be building a crate today. Super quick, super easy kayak crate because I'm all about the budget. You think it's going to work? Yeah. Yeah? You don't want to play fetch with me. Well, you guys keep playing fetch while I do this, all right? Yeah. Unless you want to, you know, come over and help it all. All right. So, we're going to be building a crate today. Super quick, super easy. I'm a budget guy. I don't want to spend a lot of money on these like yak crates and everything, even though they might be good. So got a crate from behind your local gas station, you know. Got a couple single fixed rod holders from Walmart. These are the Ozark Trail brand. Yeah, I know they're white, but whatever, four bucks a piece. Uh, let's see, got impact, got a grinder, and four screws. And I think we're gonna be able to make this happen. All right, so first I want to get these on there. There's only so many spots you can mount them on these crates. My idea here is it hangs a little bit over the bottom, as you can see, just barely. So I'm going to try to set these first, and then I'm going to try to, you know, grind a little bit of this off flush and make it so the bottom of the crate is what's touching the bottom of the kayak. Let's see. Ooh, that's gonna be big. Fun. So we got one in, straight, good. Got another one, yeah. It's on there pretty good. It doesn't need to be super crazy, but like I said, we got that little overhang there. So we're gonna try to grind that off, smooth it out and happens there it really does not need much Now the kayak crate's gonna be sitting flush on the milk crate, I should say, sitting with the kayak. Got one on there. Yeah, I'll wash, rinse, repeat for the second one. So yeah, there we go. That's that's basically it. That's about the most budget kayak crate you can do. Um, let's say we made that for under 10 bucks. You know, then we're gonna you know, put it on in here. Fits real nice. I'm not even gonna do bungees because the way this is set up, sorry for my poor cameraman skills here. You know, you feed one through there. We're gonna take this other one, boom. I was gonna take some finger strength there, but we got it. And boom. And that's locked, you know. You got bungees to keep some stuff held down if you need it. Two extra rod holders on the kayak. This 
fits pretty good, you know? All so far, so good. All Walmart. Like I said, I like to keep it cheap. I got blue speed stick Walmart. The Ozark Trail Walmart. Another speed stick Walmart. And I just got a baitcaster that my friend gave me, or else I probably honestly wouldn't have it. So, I said budget. You want a budget build? That's it. Right there. Ten bucks. You got a crate. We're going to pack it up here now. This is the angle I'm working with. I'm going to load everything on the kayak, give you a little tour around it, and just show you how everything seemed to work out. Again, I don't exactly have the best film equipment or whatever. I basically got my phone on a bench trying to show you guys how this is going to go on. So, the crate's perfect. Working out. You know, I can take, I just usually throw myself plastics in a grocery bag, you know, try to keep it as a garbage bag too, and then empty it out when I'm all done. We got that right in the crate. And the cool thing about this kayak, I've never had it before, but like, tackle can go right into the seat. So you're saving space right, right there. On there. Life jacket right behind the seat. Tucks away from it right there. And I mean, that's it. So, basically in a nutshell, you know, you got boom, Tackle stored under there. I don't need a whole ton of, my, you know, any kind of tackle or nothing like that. Simple top water, a couple crank baits and some jigs and whatnot. Got the life vest. Soft plastics and plenty of room. You know, throw it something in hoodie, whatever you need to throw in there. It's, it is what it is. And then boom, 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 boom. Four rods. Usually fishing with one, so I'll throw a net in one of the rod holders as I'm fishing. I mean, that's it. We got these cheap battery operated lights for the front i came with two to put in the kayak i just don't know where i'm gonna put them in yet but i mean we're rigged up ready to go just a quick shot of the lights here they look pretty good for seven bucks so yeah that's it for this one it's a short video but like i said i just wanted to show you how easy it is to really build a crate before you go out and spend all that money on one especially when you first start kayak i have been using this kayak for the longest time you know it's your basic it's a sun dolphin on my scale oh. yeah as you see not much storage i think it's like a 250 pound weight limit so i was already kind of riding in the water as it is but I still catch them. You know, some are gonna say, oh, this is a cheap kayak. This is, you know, it's whatever that builds crappy, whatever. I still catch the fish. And if you see my Instagram, I know this the bass fishing hasn't been much on YouTube, but look at my Instagram, you'll see. You ain't gotta spend a million dollars to go out and catch some nice bass. That's it. You know, you got the quick crate build. You're, you know, you're trying to get a good, easy, cheap crate to get out. That's it right there. We got the kayak all loaded up. We're going to unload everything off the kayak, put it in the truck. And uh, we're going to try to get after them. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you have any kind of questions, you know, put it in the comments. You can find me on Instagram, Freshwater Menace. And, uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoy. It took a little getting used to it first, but can 100% stand, cast, and fish off the kayak. This is very nice. Decent one here to end the day. Next thing I got to mount on this is definitely going to be some sort of phone mount or camera holder.